Hello, I'm finally doing this video. Remember I put something on my Instagram like what video ideas you want to see ages ago and I got a couple asking how I take and edit my Instagram photos. I've been meaning to do it for like a good couple of months so I'm finally doing it. I'm only going to do how I take my pictures at home by myself but if you do want to see how I take them outside or how I edit my pictures I'll do a video on that air as well. I'll show you the equipment I use. Equipment. It technically it is equipment. It is. So I'll show you what equipment I use. Um, I always get questions on my ring light and stuff like that air. And I'll show you how I take my pictures then. I got a couple asking how to please. So I'll show you what I do to do that as well. And I'll show you just how I take my normal pictures too. I've started taking them against this wall. And I feel like people's going to get bored. But it's like so handy. I've got like a massive pink wall that's like behind the camera. Literally the worst for taking pictures. I just like a nice white background. So I can't wait to just paint it white. So starting off with equipment. The ring light I use. It's actually. It's so annoying because I'm using all the equipment right now. But the ring light I use is the New Year. New Year. <laughs> New Year. New Year one from amazon i'll put a wee picture here and i'll link them down below too so it's easier for you if you do want to get it it is on the pricier side and i heard home bargains or something has a really good ring light um so you could easily just get a cheaper one i had a tiny one whenever i first started youtube it was actually about that size and i knew i was going to need a good ring light so i just kind of spent the money on it because i knew i would just need it for a long time so i just like bought an expensive one it's not like the best of the best of the best. There's so many changes I would make to it. My last ring light, you could change the settings with a button. This one, I'll show you here and I don't even know if you can see. It's that bright, you can barely see, but you can see that down here, it's like more orange and up here, it's more white. And that's because it comes with plastic they put over the light inside. But I do find it really annoying that you have to change the plastic on top. I don't know why. For like 90 pounds there's not a wee button that changes it it must have to do with the light inside or something because i don't know it looks snazzy the light inside another annoying thing too it's like the lowest it goes is really really bright and then you can turn it up like full i'm just gonna say full volume you can turn it up like the full way and then it's really extremely bright so i wish it was more dumb as well like i wish you had that air option but if you are looking for a really bright ring light i do recommend it and it's really sturdy and i can tell it's gonna last and then my tripod, I'll show you more later in the video of what it actually looks like because I'm using it right now for my camera. But I'll put a picture here as well. It's from Amazon. I've seen it off a girl on TikTok. You should probably have seen her. That's her there. But she does a lot of contenty stuff, how to take pictures outside and like tips and all. But she showed how she took pictures outside and I just got that air tripod she was using. It's really tall. I forget how many inches it is. It might be 52 inches, maybe. Good tripod. Wasn't that expensive either. The next thing I'll show you as well is literally a god send. This will be the best tap you'll ever learn in your life. It probably saves you so much time. It's such a handy app, right? So you do need like two devices for it. I just use my iPad and my phone. So there's an app called Aericam. Maybe I'll put a wee icon here. I'm going to try explain it in the best way possible, right? If you download Aericam on both devices, so there's a wee option at the top. And you click that air and then it says, can you take a photo for me? I think it connects with Bluetooth for something. So if I do eye, I'm trying to make it not look ugly. My iPad can see what my phone sees. Do you get what I mean? What I do there is put my phone on a tripod. And then instead of me not knowing what I'm taking a picture of, don't even know if I'm in the middle of the frame. Don't even know if the hooses I'm doing is ugly or not. I can literally see everything here. It probably does save so much time. The only annoying thing about it is it's not like rapid fire. No way clicker. I used to use a clicker. And then you can just take pictures one after an hour. But then like the probability of you getting like as nice pics is like lower. Do you get what I mean? I'll show you me using it more later on. Of course, I don't even need to say this. This ain't sponsored by Aericam. It totally should be though because I actually told all my friends about it. I think it's the best app ever. I know Katie Green and Keisha Dean have recently done this video as well. How they take their pictures outside as well. I'll show you how I take my normal photos first. I'll probably just take it in this here. I don't know what vibe I'm going for yet. A different angle. You are now piled on top of my two makeup boxes. So this is my tripod. 
it's all cute and money right now. It's got three of these that can go down so that times that by three and that's how like high it can go. I've got like a pile of stuff there. So I'm just gonna move all this here stuff so it's nice and clean in the background. Oh, right. I always do this here mistake. I always put my phone on and then realize I haven't connected it with the app yet. I'm gonna turn the flash on too and then um, put the timer at three seconds. So I'm just putting my phone on my tripod. Is this good to show you my setup? Or is that just really annoying? I feel like it's really annoying. Um, we'll move anyway. So obviously you see my phone is here. And then this is, oh my God. Anyway, so this is what my iPad is seeing because that's what my phone's seeing. I feel like I'm over explaining this here whenever everyone knows what I mean anyway. You can see my lamp in it and that's not the look I'm going for. And you can see what I'm sitting on. I don't want to see that air either. So what I'm going to do is just, I don't want to take off my phone and zoom in. So I'm just going to like attempt to zoom in. So then now it's just me in the frame with a white wall. I might change my outfit because I've got a vibe in my head for this here outfit. I feel like I want more pictures with this outfit instead. I don't even think I'm going to bother showing you how to take my more pictures because I don't even take more pictures. I'll show you the difference in whenever I tried to take more pictures from that air like blue and white outfit and then the way I had to take them instead because the quality is so much more better. So I might do an outfit check. Oh. Outfit check. I might do an outfit change and then I'll come back to you. The first outfit did not go to plan. Vibe wasn't there. I'm a bit raging. I just got this here off Shane. I think it's really cute. It's like a cord kind of thing. I'm only wearing joggers because you're... Oh, you might see it in the photo. I can't eat... Oh, I think my flares are out in the car. I need the flares. Right, turns out the bag with all my clothes was in the house. I don't remember bringing it in, but apparently I did. My mum and daddy said I did, but I don't remember bringing it in. So I've got my flares on. My my last ASOS haul. I talked about these here and I couldn't show them because they were in the car. And they're so beautiful. I just wanted to show you again. They're like a chocolate brown. And they're just stunning. Need to wear them ASAP. Oh, I might wear them for the next one. Alright, I'll wear them for the next one. You can also do live pictures on it, which is handy. I don't like doing live pictures because you know the way you can choose another picture from the live photos? I feel like the quality ain't half as good as the one that was actually taken. I don't know what my vibe is. I like it. Oh, I like having a vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't like just taking photos. I want there to be something about the photo. This is so hard to explain. No one probably cares. I just don't want to be sitting posing. I want to do like interest. I, I just want that interesting photo, is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to have my hair back for this. Just topping up. Minnie, don't leave, please. Oh, she's shaking everything, but she's going to fall. Maybe I might do some elegant poses. It's so annoying. I keep doing poses with my hands. Does she mind? I keep doing poses with my hands and my nails aren't done. So it looks really ugly. But we move because we're in a lockdown in a pandemic. So. Oh, so all you do as well is literally just tap a button. Just as if you're taking a picture. Um, usually I do have music playing as well. I would have like a YouTube video on but I'm using my iPad. A tap for taking pictures. Especially if you're just starting off taking pictures by yourself. I should have explained this here all in the start. But be prepared that the first couple of photos that you're going to take aren't going to look how you're expecting them to look. Because you're just not going to be in the groove yet. You just won't be comfortable. And you will start getting comfortable the more pictures you're taking. And also don't be afraid to experiment with poses because even if you look stupid, it's only you seeing them anyway. And then if they do turn out nice, happy days. And if they're not as nice, you can figure out how to make them better and tweak them and stuff. But it does also take practice as well, taking photos and getting comfortable. See with this as well, so once you take the picture, it'll like freeze for the time it's counting down. So just say you're in a pose, right? And then you want to know what it looked like. Because whenever you're trying to look forward, obviously you're not going to look down. Because then you're not in the pose anymore. So I just like to do a pose. And then click it. And then it's frozen in that position. So you can see what the pose looks like. And decide if you want to like move more this way. Or if you don't like the pose at all. But that's also why it like saves time too. Because you could be doing an angle. And it's just not your angle. Know what I mean? 
and just say if it was just a clicker and I couldn't see what I was doing, I'd be doing that angle loads and loads. And I'd just have all these pictures that I don't like. Jesus. Oh! I went out of the app. <laughs> As expected, I'm not loving the photos, but I know I'm going to get more comfortable with it. I'm very straight on and just looking at the camera. I want a bit more than that. I might do some like holding my cardigan, like kind of using it as a prop. I want my picture to be a wee bit interesting. Mm, I'm trying to experiment because these are really floppy, so maybe I can do... The makeup isn't really the same vibe as this year. This year's really cutesy. I mean, makeup's more like bad bitch vibes, but it'll be grand. I like this pose. I like to do a couple of facial expressions in the exact same pose as well, just in case I like the pose, but I don't 100% love my face in it. It kind of looks like I'm still in. <laughs> That's grand. Maybe I'll lean under the camera. I'm just kind of sitting the iPad on my lap, but it's so annoying because the last pictures I took, you could see the iPad on my lap. Example of don't be afraid to experiment with poses. I feel like this is a really cutesy outfit and I tried to do this year like kind of pose before with my lounge outfit, like um, my pink set. Probably gonna turn out really wrong, but I'm gonna try it anyway. But I want to do something like, you know what I mean? Cause you know the way that's like kind of cute. Oh, why have I not been doing this? This is far more cuter. I'll be taking them once. Maybe I'll do one for now. I usually don't like pictures of me pointing, so I'm not gonna like that. So I know I'm not gonna really like it, but you never know. I'm gonna go look at them. See the crack. Oh, my phone's on six percent. I'll do a wee intermission, look through the photos, and I'll come back. So here's all the ones I've taken. Not that many to be fair. I like this year pose and I like the one hand pose. These are my favourites. Cute. To be honest, if that's how many is that my favourites? I'm definitely going to get a post out of it. I might finish taking them once now. Um, I think they're good enough. I was having fun taking them once, to be fair. I actually want to take more just for the fun of it. So that is how I take my normal, just like white background pictures. I'm trying to like feed you tufts along the way whenever I remember them. I'm trying to think of any right now. I don't know. I'm really enjoying taking pictures with a white background at the minute instead of moving on to more pictures. Mm. I'm not sure. I'll come back to you whenever I've changed my outfit. Right, so I lied. I took a couple of more two hand poses. And these are the ones I've cut it down to. I have them in like two, so I might do something about that in the caption. Because these two are the same poses, these two are the same poses, and so are these two. So that's the other two I took. So I'm not really going to film this next outfit that much because I'm doing the same thing. I might just put like a wee tiny segment of it up. So this is my next outfit. This wasn't my plans. I like the two shades together. They might be a bit clashy. I don't know. But then they they're really really wrinkly by the way but they add on to like the beige white kind of feel. I added the white jeans. I recently wore my white jeans in a picture but it's grand because it's a completely different vibe and I feel like I'm missing something there's something I'm missing I feel like I'm missing sunglasses or something but they're really played out right now or I'm missing something like a hat I don't know what hat it could be maybe I might just have sunglasses on my heat 
I, on the hair just to spice it up. I'm hoping everyone's not getting bored of the white wall because I'm kind of spicing it up. I always rip these jeans. My arm has tons of needles. Let's see them. I don't know why, but whenever I'm taking photos, oh my god, <laughs> my foot just lying there. Whenever I'm taking photos, my phone goes dull and like it says it's uprightness. It literally just changed for you. Oh my god, well, anyway, that's grand. I switched up the poses. Um, didn't really like the first ones. I, I did like them. I didn't like the angle of the camera, it was far too high. But then I ended up doing different poses. I like them far better. You're getting a wee sneak peek at what I'm going to be uploading during the week. Yeah. Have fun. Now, this is the top and I feel like I can pose with it by doing this here. And you know what I mean? By holding it up. Um, But it's like extremely bad. It's really, it's really wrinkly. But I feel like it'll be grand. But it's really oversized. Aye, I'll wear it here. It'll be cool. I am so tempted to wear my white bucket hat again. But that'll be like the third time I'm wearing it. And bucket hats were so like two years ago, but I just like them. The last time I wore it was January, the, literally the end of January 28th. So that'll be like three times in a month. Not that I, not that I really care. You know what I mean? Like I'm not like, I don't want to be seen re-wearing it. It's just like, is people going to get bored with like, why are you pulling out a bucket hat again? You know what I mean? Out of all items, a bucket hat. Do you reuse? I feel like that's what people thought it's going to be. I'm looking at my feed right now and I just know... It's just going to be all white walls, even though like, God, look how colourful this year is. My three reasons are white and then all these are going to be white background. And then I'll probably start going out so then it'll be all multicoloured again. I wish I could look after my feet good, but I'm just too, I don't know, if I like a picture I'll upload it kind of vibe. Okay, I think this is my vibe. I think a bucket hat. I have a black one, a black bucket hat. Do you reckon that's good to spice it up? Um, I feel cool. Oversized t-shirt, bucket hat, 2001 necklace. It's back to front because it'll be in a mirror. So now the difficult part of moving my mirror from over there to here for a white background. I have to try to get this here over an extension lead. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh! Oh! There goes my phone. Oh fuck. I have to turn it around. No. Like anyone knows how heavy this mirror is. <laughs> no, someone help me. <laughs> you have to see the way my arm is. <sighs> I'm really out of breath. Oh my god, that's what I get for having a messy room. I need a breather. I just know I'm going to clip my toes or something. Oh my god, finally. I am sweating. So this is going to be my setup. I've just kind of lent my mirror against my bed. It has fell and so is my ring light, which is not great. Usually there's daylight and I wanted to do it in daylight to show you. Because then I don't need the ring light and it's less complicated. But it's not as if you're going to have to recreate this anyway because it's my room. But usually there's daylight. So the lighting ain't the best. I'll try to explain to you now how I take the pictures. So this is what we're looking like. So what I do is just put tripod beside me and it's at an angle like it's more facing that way so whenever you look at the ipad you can see the phone on it there is a wee lot of space over here which i don't like so maybe i can like move this over and even if i get them around sometimes it's kind of cool whenever i get them around i'm going to move it back because i stood up to fix my jeans right i realized this here looks kind of cool um obviously not with the ipad on it but just to break up my feet a wee bit and then I can kind of go on it so like 
you can see my jeans here too. I took like four and then I check what they look like and they're looking decent. I've sat my iPad here, very unstable, but that's how I'm taking the pictures. These are the ones I took at the start. I don't know if them ones, but these ones are cool. So I'll try to take more of these and then I'll move on to actual ones because I feel like them ones are a bit boring. So that air literally looks like it's right beside me, but you can see it. It's a bit, but you can't really see it. And the actual thing. My vibes for this picture. I think I'm just gonna aim, don't know, just keep you pose like this. I'll see the crack. I think that's my vibes. And then I might try another few poses. I'm actually so knackered. It's like one o'clock and I start at like seven and then I'm working at nine tomorrow until five. I don't even know where they look, but I'm not loving them. I think I'm just tired. I'm doing something right, but <laughs> mm, it just looks a bit wrong still. I'll probably just update these whenever I have good ones. And then I'll end the video. Right, this is literally how many I took. And then I did get ones I liked. Um, they look quite dark, but I'll bring them up and stuff. So that's like four posts I got today. I'm very proud of myself. But I'm just going to end here like this. I'm knackered. I'm actually so tired. But I hope you enjoyed. I really hope I covered everything I wanted to cover. Oh, I forgot to show you this right. The difference between just taking like normal more photos and then taking them the way I do. I was trying to take pictures but the quality just wasn't the best. I feel like for me they're more like story material. That's how the other ones turned out. So you can see the difference. Like the quality is actually insane whenever you take the photos like this here. I don't know why but the quality is just amazing. Also follow me. But I hope you still enjoy. Hopefully you learned some new tips if you do want to see how like i edit my photos or how i take my pictures outside do let me know i will easily do it but i think i'm just going to end it here please subscribe if you haven't already follow me on instagram as well but i'll see you later bye